Alex. Back at it for another Saturday night, or technically just regular Friday night. Like, I'm not gonna say we're gonna always do a Friday night, don't get me wrong. I know next week, uh, okay. if possible, we're gonna probably have it around like 4 p.m. Eastern time. We're slowly building up, uh, we're slowly the building up. Players. We got King, we got Ka, we got Retro, we got Shachi. Who's that? Who else? Me, I'm for Shachi. <laughs> we're, we're building up, and that, that's what's nice is, uh, that, that's what's so nice is in time to anyone and everyone's allowed to invite and if they don't even want to join the uh, uh even if they don't have discord that's why i'm uh, encouraging that we start a giant group like this so that even if they don't got discord we can start throwing more people in it's just discord yeah. is where a lot of the information the conversations the actual interactions will probably going down in discord this is pretty much just so we can talk to each other Stuff like that, but I mean, oh, 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 yeah. I, was, I thought I clicked the black short for a minute. Fight. I was about to say, How's that fight going? Sounds like it's an that intense fight. I was about to say, It sounds like a battle over there. It sounds like a war. All right, like I said, those two are going to practice match. You guys still in your practice match, or y'all on your official set? Oh, that just ended. Okay. I had to do it. Yes, but I'm going to remind you. Forcing gloves can lead to DQ. Remember that. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep your... I'm going to try to remind you that. I did make sure to put that in the rules in the Discord just because, I mean... Yeah, but, I mean, I'm not too opposed to it. That's why I'm ready for it. Always keep your guard up, but just reminding you. I got the first hit him, but... Oh yeah, you got that first right. dagger, and after that I made you pay for that one. I got you, I got you. Oh, I hope so. Nice. No, I went in uh, around like 11-ish, or around, yeah, somewhere around 10-ish, 11-ish, one of the two. I went, ran, uh, went, did a light jog, and then pretty much I spent the rest of my workout with swimming. And let me tell you, I quit using my legs to swim and only use my upper arms, because I'm trying to build up my arm yes. strength. And my endurance for my arms and hot damn. Jeez, he punches so fast. Uh, yeah, Rex is quick. I, oh goodness, I wasn't joking when I said that, Rex. Yeah. Uh, we we worked ourselves up a bit. When I said we as Fight Night, we pushed ourselves even harder because uh because Chevy, Wolfpack, all those others had pushed us like because you were doing so well, we pushed it. Where we went and made a different uh, level. You see, with something I've uh, put together, especially with this fighting style you've been using the last couple of days, is when I want to or need to recover stamina, I would go and pop myself into my defense. It don't matter what defense, because I always swap it up to go and keep you from putting it together. But whenever yeah. I get done with my combos, I'll instantly, like, when you get out of stagger, I'm almost predicting every time that you're going to try to go home out swinging. And I'll throw out my gloves instead to block the attacks. Wear your stamina back yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, no, I noticed that. I was like, Even man, with poor defense like mm. Rocky, he don't need poor defense. If you wear your stamina out, that's all it takes. It'll make it a lot easier to break through that, too. I won't, you chump. 
Alright, I swear. So clearly this is not the strategy. You probably, probably need to circle him. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good idea. Let me tell you. Stick and right move. Now, stick, your and best move. Bet stick and move. Stick and move. Your best bet is to block one of his flurries, and while he's punching, you punch right out there. You want to block Wait, both so of them and start going up. Like, because y'all are in your, com like, we're in an actual match, I ain't going to tell you too much until after y'all's done fighting. Then I'll give you some tips on how to beat them, but trying to tell you how to beat them in between is pretty, uh, pretty low, you know? Pretty dirty. I mean, he's already up 1-0. 1-0. No, with Rexy, stick and move. Rexy's, uh, he's great with speed. Keep moving. I can't give t Rexy any tips against you because, well, I haven't faced you. I don't think I, we have not had the pleasure to my knowledge, at least. All right, you ready? You ready? I'm gonna go and wreck that suit like I'm gonna wreck your mom. I somehow use this. No, luckily, what? despite being a little sore, I mean, luckily, I will say, trying to mess around in the pool and try to get some quick punches in the pool, it definitely comes in handy. However, I'm definitely going a lot more defensive when I shouldn't be, and I'm I'm paying for that one. There it is. <laughs> That was fast. I was about to say, that's a surprisingly quick knockdown. The game's giving false hope. Okay. So, uh, what is it a best of again? A best two or three. <laughs> Damn, I, I wasn't joking, I guess, when I said I'm a wreck you like that, or a wreck you suit like I wrecked your mom. Damn, Apollo's messing you up. You're gonna probably be I'm really hard to because Apollo. Well, you're probably gonna be really hard to knock down, because you shouldn't have went down that quick, that... Who's gonna face Rex? We have no idea. So far, I'm walking, uh, walking away with the lead of 1-0 in the official match. Three, four. I think we're done with that match, or we can either go against Rex. Well, yeah. it'd be 1-1 one, one if you could win this, or vice versa. As I anticipated, you were giving us so much. <laughs> those hits that you should have taken throughout those rounds came up right there. Those hits yeah, I had I to throw came up all in that last round. I knew I couldn't let up. I knew I had to keep pushing otherwise. Because I hear that stupid getting up noise telling me, yeah, I'm pretty much two hits from knockout. Man, look at the score now. Oh yeah, that definitely came down close. My extra health came out. I'm just lucky I didn't have cocky working against me. Yeah, I was trying to get that activated, but not. Huh. <laughs> it don't work until I go and uh, get that upper hand. Well, actually, I think it came in play, I like, think, uh... I think second or third round, I think. But that definitely was a closer fight. For a moment, yeah. I thought I was going to uh, lose it, if I was honest. Because when I hear that... Uh, you want cock. Well, whenever I hear that booshing sound... I'm guaranteeing yeah. I'm gonna, I'm like, oh shit, I'm like two, three hits from death. It pretty much is a warning. So, since, uh, it, so Rexy moved up, you said? Oh man, yeah, oh, so yeah. it's gonna come down to, uh, Rexy said good game. Good game. Yeah, he, he, he replied with good game too. So, since the, uh, since me and Rex will be moving up, you and, uh, Ace, you don't have to, but you guys can fight one more time yeah, we'll between fight. each other to go and rank and see who ranked third place. 
Why not? I mean, yeah, why did he? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be there in a second. All right, Rexy. All right, you want to make the room, or you want me to? All right, Rex. You know the drill. Yeah, Championship match here. Spectator mode up in here. Three, seven, seven. Four, seven, seven. I was going to laugh the room code was literally just seven across the board. That would have been the funniest thing, I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, no, I was doing some, uh, a lot, pretty intense work for my upper body. Instead of picking up a weight in the gym, I pretty much crossed my legs in the pool. And pretty much swam with my arms only. What's up? That way I had to work my, uh, full form. I had to keep my arms moving. Work out the uh, body like yeah. that. Yeah. Right, I'm just lucky my pool has, or my gym has a pool. Oh man, I haven't been swimming in such a long time. I used to love swimming. I know. I mean, I shit, could go this, out. This is my first time. Could you swimming go up in, in the deep ends? Uh, we have like, like I think the pool goes like maybe three, maybe four feet deep at best. For the most part, you should be able to stand. It's a lap pool, and then we got a jacuzzi. Oh. Or a spa. That's pretty nice. I think, um, let's say if someone threw you on the ocean, you think you would be able to, uh, you know, swim it off? Swim your the way ocean? back to shore? No. Yeah. Probably not. Really? Without holding on to anything? I could swim just well, fine. Maybe. I used to be a lifeguard. Just not in the ocean. I ain't oh, dealing really? with the ocean. I don't swim in the ocean. I, I'm saying. If you were to take away all of what happens, like the uh, animals or the sea yeah. life, then probably yes. No, I'm saying, could you like survive, like let's say just floating? Yeah. All I right. could tread, I could float. I mean, float. that's practically all you need. I could tread, just I could float, I could float. swim, I could save. I could. I used to be a lifeguard, I wasn't joking. Alright, Rex. <laughs> Apollo takes a solid blow and stumbles back. Oh yeah, I've seen your hands go. I'm like, I don't think that's what he meant to do. Hey, you should send me that uh that pirate thing for the UFC because I'm trying to watch the One, two. Yeah, I knew this was gonna come down to being a closer just all out fist fight. Hey yo, I'm already down. I'm already down. What the hell you doing? The fuck you doing? I, I see how we're doing this, Rexy. Apollo delivers a solid hit to his opponent. I think the only reason why I'm knocking you down this quick is because of uh, your less health. Although you're also really strong, so. Like in all reality, since you're playing as a strong character that took away my max health, not to mention the fact that I'm cocky, it'll make my health go down even quicker. So I would technically be considered a lean now. Which character is it? It was Apollo versus Axel. I forgot who the next one is again. That went a lot quicker than expected. <laughs> that didn't last very much at all. That first round, I think we're too busy just trying to stand and bang with each other like uh, old times. I think we're just like, you know what, let's just throw hands at each other. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, your hands went hey, like this that. Man, you're pretty good, Cod. I'm not going to lie. That, that's why I prefer, like, I don't like doing it, but whenever someone starts walking up on me, I'll go and start backing up on them. Uh, that, that's because I don't like being right up in someone's face because it's like will you get the fuck out of my face I can't even throw a proper punch When you're in front of me because I'm like how am I gonna throw a punch like you know how weird even for me my hands uh, wig out oh, when I get too it. hurt Like my my hands even too close 
was messing up for a second. I, I don't like doing it all too much. How would you wait relay? Would you say he's pretty good? Relay? Wheeler. Wheeler. Oh, Wheeler. Wheeler's yeah. not too bad. He's definitely, he works against my fight style 100%. He has less health, yeah, so I mean, he can't if you're stand a blocky and bang. Puncher? Well, he can't stand pretty... and bang like uh, I'm used to. And defense isn't really... Like, I'm not opposed to using defense, and I'm not bad with it. I'd just much rather not use it. Wheeler doesn't work against uh, Rexy's strategy at all. I'm about to figure that out. Wheeler versus Drago. Well, being I don't usually go defense mode, I mean, it's definitely gonna... This definitely won't be fun to... How tall are you in real life, uh... Well, Told like, you, five something. punching in the pool five, slows eight? down your punches. Yeah. Trying to equal out punches speed Man, here. you got nothing to worry about. I'm like 5'5". Five, five. I don't know. 5'6 on a good day. Yeah, I seen they were doing that. That's why I was trying to... That's why I was just insulting you with a little... Yeah, one of the things you have to be careful about, especially with uh, fighting Rexy as Wheeler, like, this is where fighting as him comes into play. And this goes with anyone with a wall perk. Rexy will yeah. literally come to, like, you could swarm and flurry with him, and you could stand and bang with him, as long as your defense and your hand-eye coordination to where he's punching is good. And you can literally use Rexy's own shit against him. Have him punch your gloves and give you your stamina back. Yeah, hey, that's kind of easy. And if you could use a wall perk really well with your defense, well, you, you could beat be like a lot of flurry fighters. Well, wall also works really well against flurry fighters because if you were to tap gloves with a flurry fighter while throwing hands, it will give you your stamina back anyways. Well. Well, okay, well. <laughs> that was kind of expected, yeah. Like I said, with uh, Rexy's playstyle, any wall, like any flurry fighter going for a flurry, a wall perk is by far one of the best things you could do. Yeah. Just because as long as, you, like a flurry fighter, 95% of the time, they will target one area. So, for instance, a flurry fighter, a lot of people target the head, naturally. We just, we like going for headshots. It, it's one of those things yeah. that's like, I'm going to knock you out quicker by hitting you in the head. I don't know why people think that, but I mean, whatever. But a lot of people go for the head, so both hands would, of his will be going for your head, right? As long as you could go and uh, throw your hands at his head, knowing you match up in height, you'll actually be smacking his gloves, taking his stamina out, and gaining yours back. So you could just stand and bang yeah. with him as long as you could correctly predict where that flurry puncher is going to punch. If you need to, you could stop for like two seconds, put your hand in that general area or both of them up and wherever they're hitting and just literally let your stamina come back instantly and then you're good to go too. You don't need to wait no more than like two seconds and then flurry fighters will give you what you need. It's just a matter of trying to figure out how to play it. And that's where it comes into being uh I want to see a uh, card against King. It would be an interesting match. Well, actually, I can't say that. I can't say that. I haven't uh, faced Code yet, so I won't know too much. You should face him after you're done with that. Uh, well, I have the intentions because let's be honest, Fight Night is moving in a little slower than or a little quicker than expected. I feel yeah, like I'm about to regret. Sometimes just fighting just a fight. We, we all go on, you win complete offense, and it became an offense battle. Rexy and I are always quick because we're always offense. And I'm about to regret yeah. this because I chose to play as uh, Scraps against uh, the, uh, the Norse guy, Eric. 
I'm gonna regret my decision real quick here. My lean or my weak ass ain't gonna be able to stand toe to toe with this. I know, right? Look, that's what's funny about Scraps is he still don't have... Like, Scraps himself still has your basic amount of health. By technicalities. But against a strong opponent, I mean, I guess he's weakened down to being a lean fighter. So, you go on tag in the fact that he's a lean fighter... ...and weak. He only just has stamina with to his name. You got me. Two, three. One thing I do like you know about Quest is that little, you know that ring at the top of your controller? I love that ring. Because after I get done uh, throwing hands, I'll throw my hand or put my uh, thumbs right through that uh, little ring. And just let the controllers just hang off like that, you know, like, so I don't have to hold my controllers no more. Oh, this man's pretty good. I'm gonna oh. try to use my hand tracking. This is payback, bitch. Three, <laughs> Smack four. me while I'm down. <laughs> think you fun? You think you funny? Yeah, that's why I make sure to face my window to have light coming shining right up on me. Honestly, that was close. I kind of deserve that one. Trying to block your punches instead of go for the punches. Because, I mean, you threw a lot more punches than I did. 100%. You threw quite a bit. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, we threw a... Well, you threw about a hundred and... Hey, GG, my boy. A hundred and thirty-six <laughs> is how many punches you threw. I threw a hundred and twenty-one. So, How's that fight going? Oh, yeah, no, we're done. All three fights right, were done already. You want to go already. get the uh, COD and I'll go against uh, Rexy? Oh, well, if you're new uh, fighting stance, that actually could be pretty interesting. So uh, Ace was suggesting, now that uh, Fight Night is technically done... That we have a champion crowned. He made a mention that I was to, or he was to face you, and you were to face, uh, and I was to face, uh, Toad. Yeah. Uh, just give him a moment. What's it sounds like he might be stepping away for a second. What's up? You ready? Then, uh. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, uh, let me, let me, uh, know when you're both ready to, for the, uh, put in the code. Right. My head's at the bottom, but it's on like uh, 4%, so we're probably gonna have to make this quick. Yeah, what, what's the code, real quick? Alright, 5 0. 5 0. 0. 0. 8. 8. 6 7. 6 7. Yeah. Yeah, he said his headset was like at 4%, so he's pretty low. So he's trying to hope for like a quick match, maybe two at best. Hey, you know, first, uh, first a dude that's caught, two, man, three, he's pretty four. good. He's more like a, a traditional fighter, but he's pretty good. What was the code? Uh, I want to see code. him against uh, King. King, that kid, he's been improving really well. Yeah, he, I mean, I've faced him. I yeah, I, I know, no, I know, before I he I was kind of trash. Him. Well, he wasn't necessarily but, like, trash. Last? He just, he was reckless and he did, he... He just needed a few pointers to get himself going, that's all. Yeah, but nah, nah, he's pretty good now. I feel like he's on the level either. He's getting there. Um, COD? What was the uh, yeah. level COD? I mean, not COD, but code. 634, 234. 6, 3, 4. What was the last three? 
Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Why does what these weird ass codes today? Yeah, you're fighting Ace. I'll be taking on a code. Uh, that or his uh, headset died. One of the two. All right. It, oh, never mind. My He's headset's back. on three percent. His headset's at three percent. Five zero zero eight six seven. I thought you guys were together. No, I'm so waiting on him. All right. So what was the code again, real quick? Five. It was five zero zero. zero, zero. Eight six seven. Eight six seven. This should be interesting. I'm actually pretty interested to see how this goes. If I'm honest, it's been a minute since I faced uh, an older ranked player. Good luck, man. <laughs> Hit Apollo is a complete powerhouse. Another punch. He might have died too. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He's reeling. Oh, a from I'm still waiting on him. One. You should probably Two. go on the offensive more, if I'm honest. That's what I was gonna say to him. Also, his defense is pretty good, and he just needs to work a little bit on his offense. All right, my head says down. I'll catch you guys later. Yep, you're good. Oh man, that is brutal. <laughs> And Apollo slams into his opponent. <laughs> Apollo slams hard into his opponent. One. Two, I'm this controller is still in one piece. I might need duct tape for this thing eventually. I, I'm lucky I have a roll of duct tape for these controllers. Catches his opponent with a clean shot. Here goes his balance. What? Yeah, Ace, I think his headset went and died off, so. Four. That was a good job, though, Rexy. You did it great this week. Well, I mean. I did make the mention about going almost half a year as champion. I don't plan on losing for a minute. I, mean, I say that I go down. Nicely done. Oh, I was about to be like, you gonna leave me hanging? Yeah, so when, uh, what I recommend for you, Code, is, uh, your defense you're holding, look like you're holding it about something like this, right? Or, what, you pretty much got your hands right around here, right? While having your hands like this, this made it real easy to tap your head and your body. You're guarding your chest, which works. But a lot of the time, the chest, I mean, is nobody really aims for the chest. It's either the ribs or the head. That's, that made it way too easy for me to beat you. Now, I, I have complete faith that you are a lot better than this. And you might just be tired after fighting against other people. I just want to try to give you a little critique on uh, why your defense didn't work. So, I mean, you know the other type of defenses people use? I would recommend the uh, L's, the uh, cross guard, both body and head, you know, what, whatever it takes, you know, like, uh, I'm not saying to, I, I don't get that whole, I don't get why people block like that, I don't, I don't get it, but I mean, like, try to swap up your defense a little bit, because, I mean, if I'm honest, the longer, like, by you holding your arms up like that, it made it really easy for me to capitalize, and I didn't even need to put no more than, like, probably a quarter of my power into the game. 
Like this, I can't, I'm like, I don't want to sound like a dick, but that was a little too easy for somebody I expected more from. I'm saying this out of respect, because Andy holds you in high esteem. You're a three-time champ, I expect a little more than that. Especially knowing who you had to fight with back then. Wolfpack isn't easy to fight. I've beat him like twice, at best. Chevy isn't easy to fight. Andy I've faced before, and... Granted, it wasn't in his prime, but I mean... He definitely wasn't exactly the best or hard easiest to beat. So when uh, fighting, like knowing these older fighters, I'm like I was a little uh, a little confused. So I was just trying to give a quick critique for you. You good, Rex? Take care. Yeah, no, you good, Rexy? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> well, that works. But try, try to change up the defense a little bit. Go a little more on the offense. I recommend trying to push offense, especially if your opponent is an offensive fighter. Chances are fighters who's offensive, they like cold in the offense. Their defense isn't nearly as, nearly as good. So it's like to, it's good to try to hold us into defense. And you could come at me in any style you wish. It really don't make me no difference. His opponent with a clean shot. This could be it. Scrap slams hard into his opponent. One. Two. Now, luckily, with the time I spent fighting Chevy, I kind of picked up a few of the. Few of his little hand, uh, his his movements. I picked up a couple of things watching him fight on video, like old fight night streams. Very nice, very nice. No, I don't ever mind when some, uh, however anyone fights me, how they fight me. I welcome anything for everything. If that's your best stance, that's your best stance. I don't want you to stop using it. I ain't gonna improve none or, uh, have any fun or challenge if you just use some basic stuff that you can't even use well. So definitely give everything you got the best you got. Much better, champ. Much better. A lot closer this time. Oh, damn. We blo <laughs> That's looking pretty close on uh, the board right there. Much better, man. Good job. What type of uh, stance, what type of style do you like sticking to? More defensive. You, you, you're a defense fighter. So, used to be really offensive. <laughs> I, I'm not too uh, good with defense myself. I'm a, I'm a swarm fighter. Uh, I like keeping it close. I like pressuring you into defense. Doesn't work if you're a defense fighter. You can't pressure a defense fighter into defense if they're already there. So it definitely throws off a strategy like mine. But like uh, when defending, a lot of some of these hits I'm hitting on you as well. I'm getting a lot of capitalization on hooks on you. So like a uh, 
on your gloves, right? You see there's dots on there, right? Like the little dots on there, the five dots. So with how I like doing it is I would uh, take the dots on my uh, gloves. When I put my hands up, I want to put it as far out as possible while still being able to see all five dots, right? This will allow me to cover up better for the sides. And then this stops the... It stops the hook a little more. This also stops the... It stops the front punches too. I don't... It's not as... Uh, it could also prevent your chest from being hit. Well, not in between. But it definitely... It leaves a little more open for the thing. But a lot of people don't punch like this. Who punches like that? We're usually going to keep our fist down like that. And a little tougher to punch through. Well, more than likely hit one of the sides of your arms. Over you. So keep that in mind while trying to hold the defense up. It works for me. I ain't a defense master. I ain't Spartan. I ain't Chevy. I ain't nearly good as them when it comes to defense. Otherwise, I like uh, holding my arm across. And try to hold like that. Because this also stops uh, that particular side from being hooked. I can't hit either side. And it makes, yeah, it makes it, it makes it tougher. The only way I'm going to break through is really by tapping the other side. This also, like, uh, with how you're holding your stance, I also like keeping my arm a lot closer. I like making an L with my thing. So, like, the, the traditional L stance, like that, just curve it. Try to go and get that acute, because now I can't punch through the side. And I can't punch the thing as well. It just takes a little bit more getting used to. I just kind of picked this up while watch and uh, fighting against Spartan. He's a defense master around here, not me. I don't... <laughs> not my cup of tea. I don't work out nearly as much by uh, being defense. Although it wouldn't hurt to learn, but... Now, you definitely... It shows that you're still getting used to the uh, this new one. It definitely shows. And I think that's some of the problem is I think just... You still need to get used to this new one, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, no harm, no foul. For what you did do, that was a great job this week, all right? Get stronger, all right? You better get stronger. I want to lose my belt. I want to. I want to win, but I want to lose. I want you all to finally take away this privilege so I don't have to be here. You know how long I've been waiting for a vacation? Three months now. I've been waiting for three months to go and just call it a day. But I can't, otherwise I lose the belt. But that was a great job. Also, yeah, I was about to say, don't be afraid to go and duck and move. We're allowed to duck. Some of good yeah. defense, like Spartan. Oh, man, he, he's always moving on my ass. He never stays still. He makes it tough. And uh, I like uh, Chevy. Bombshells that, where he would duck enough to where your gloves don't go out. But just enough to make it tougher. I don't know how he does it, but he somehow is able to duck so much lower. And completely make it a bitch to get through. I pretty much have to fully extend my arm out in a weird position to get him to go, to hit him in that uh his body. My lower hooks don't work. None of that. I have to full fledge extend my jab all the way out in a downward position for it, and it's a bitch to do because it leaves me wide open doing it. These ain't exactly uh, anything I could prove. Like I said, I've only seen these. I can't, I, they are cheap knockoffs, they ain't the, they ain't the full-fledged thing, I'm trying to remember the right terms for it, but like, like, they're not the, uh, original article, they're, they're, they're off-brand workings of it, but then again, I mean, I don't need to learn defense when I got a good offense, so, but that definitely works just, Gotta learn to go and uh, change it up instead of just using this. Try to learn the differences between them. And then you'll be golden for sure. Then you can finally go and wear gloves like that and actually mean something. But yeah, no, that was, that was a great set of fights, man. For sure, a great set of fights. So you want to keep going or do you want to call it a day? I don't care. <laughs> this man got endurance. You know, I'm going actually. Uh, that's not too good. I'll humor myself with a, a wall. 
I'm gonna try some uh, defense power. I wouldn't mind. He might make an opening. <laughs> When you're using defense like that, always swap it. Like, every two seconds, swap. That way, if you hold this too long, especially for someone quick and with great reaction skill, it will take me no time to... You're done. It just takes a second, like, two seconds to go and see it and respond to it, so... But, just want to let you know, I don't mind a little bit of training, so... When you're ready. Oh, oh, well, that works too. Taking advantage of his range. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I'm surprised I didn't cut myself yet. Did that draw blood? A nice punch. Very nice. One, that uh that defense on two, pop very nice. That's very nice. That's some good strategy with that defend and pop. Most players were going fall for that, so that's very nice. Square into his opponent. Very good, very good. One, two. You've got to be kidding me. Remember to defend your sides too. Hooks are... Hooks are something uh, that's pretty useful too. So, did you ever see the uh, Karate Kid? Yeah. You're uh, this seem this is gonna seem irrelevant here. You you remember the uh training scene where uh Miyagi was telling the whole wax on stuff when Daniel was about to quit. Some of what I'm doing is just that, like the whole uh, when I'm forming the offense and I'm throwing punches and I'm about to go uh to defense. Some of my uh thing is I throw that punch. Like I'm about to do like that karate, like the defense and stuff. So when I'm doing that, I'm hitting you, and then I'm also enabling another hit with a second go. Try using something like that. Like, it seems unconventional, and it seems kind of stupid to do. Especially in a ring like this, this, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. But give it a try. This will also enable you to come back with a solid defense. So, be, be, uh, be more than okay with trying something new. This isn't real boxing, you don't have to go and fight like a real boxer. Because obviously, real boxing don't count in here. Del Rosario staggers his opponent with a swift blow. Incredible power! One! Two! Three, now I've also spent four, quite a few hours with a lightsaber which is uh, put on a rack behind me and while using it it also helps throw out those unique uh, the unique hand stances that I do which allows me to get these unique weird looking shots and enable me to hit two three more times than what I'm supposed to damn Hell yeah. Two, three, 
Very good. If he wasn't lean, I wasn't getting knocked down there. Well, all things considered, I mean, this really was a basic up-to-front match. We're both technically well-rounded fighters by technicalities. We're evened out. You have less health, but I don't hit you as hard. You hit normal, I hit, or I have the normal hits. We both just had bonus defense. Yeah. But, like I said, try to go and work in some more unique things. This isn't traditional boxing. That's why I hate those other leagues. Like those pros and all that. No. This isn't real boxing. I'm sorry. Real boxing. We're shadow boxing. Do you have perfect form in shadow boxing? No. Those people who look like, uh, even in those movies or real boxing, you'll see people doing like, uh, whew, oh, give me my hands back. I want my hands, not the thing. Okay, wait, no, give it back. There it goes. You don't see people just, whew. no, that, that's some shadow boxing. That's what we're doing. It's okay. That's the game. Keep the difference between game and real life different. Even then, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen like in UFC, I've seen people come up and literally just pull exactly what they pull in Creed. So I'm like, do whatever is conventional for you, whatever works, you know what I mean? I've seen people throw some sloppy formed Ida like hits and all that stuff. Whatever works. So I recommend when you, uh, the more you train throughout the week, try to mix in unique uh, styles to get things through to go and compliment it. Like the whole idea that I could throw a punch and do all that and it's just a way of me to pull out defense, stuff like that. And how I learned to do this is literally by doing other games. Resident Evil 4 VR, some of the uh, strikes I do here is from where I'm literally playing that. And I would go and uh, use like the knife in the game and I would literally just pull some unique crap that really wouldn't work in here, but I'd do it there. Bring it in here, I'm using it. Beat Sabers, Resident Evil, uh, VR Chat, there's games in there where it's just the same, where it's all about uh, precision. There, there's so many different games that allow you, that's completely irrelevant. Once you start playing and grinding those, come back and, uh, to Creed. What for offense, and then you'll see your uh, speed, your uh, give me my hands, your defense, all that stuff. You'll see the change, for sure. All right, I'll catch you next week. Great job today. I want you to take my belt within the next month. You got, it. you better take my belt within the month. One month's training, and I guarantee you, with some serious work, you got it. Just need to go and work on it. All right. You did a great job today, all right, man? Yeah, do. Take care. Well, that simplifies that. I didn't mind giving a little bit of a tutorial. This also works for anyone else as well. Because, yeah, it works for everyone. And this is why I like telling people this stuff is, yeah, it's unconventional, but watch how I'm about to lay these strikes out, right? Watch how I'm about to lay these strikes out to this bag. I'm going to throw a simple jab, it works. One. And, uh, one. Hold on, I'm being too much into a... Notice how my hands are going down like the whole wax on wax off thing the whole it works you just need better form with it you just need to learn what you're doing with it and you can throw some unique punches in there just need focus on it See, what's something else I like doing? It's the... Oh, I love pulling out... I love doing this. I've done this to quite a few people where I've just... Pulled an entire, uh, quote-unquote, Tiger Uppercut is the name of the move where I've learned it. Where I shift all my momentum. Every Like, I'll be back here. I shift everything in my body and completely turn. Like on my feet. Like, uh, my left... My right foot is here. 
I'd be on the toes, I'd move, and strike up. It's, it's pretty fucking dope. So it pretty much in a quick, uh, in a quick work, it work just fine. You can't just go on, uh, like when I do it, I can't just, it don't work the same. Obviously it's not working compared to the full. Now, even if I was to change hands, I could, but just doing it like that, it don't work. It don't have the power behind it. Just, I, that's why I recommend is just literally go and experiment. Try new things. This is still a game. This game don't have any, and I do mean any rules against you being unique like that. Too many fighters trying to fight with that quote unquote traditional or real life. It seems impractical real life, but how come martial arts gets away with it? It's the idea that you're putting too much idea into your glove, that your glove has to be the one to use the like, the glove is the only thing allowed. As long as you're not using anything else, the way you do it really don't matter. So in real boxing, like as I'm fighting here, as I've been, whenever I throw my strikes, I'm gonna get up for this bag. Actually, I'm not gonna hit this bag, I don't trust this bag. Like with this one. Like it comes in handy to Oops, shit. That's why I wear the strap. That's why, like, in my traditional stance, like, the whole punch, like, you still punch. It's not like I'm saying to throw that elbow in there. It's not like I'm saying to poke the eye out. Anything like that. But it's not, like they said, anything that you can't. I mean, in, like, in a, uh, martial arts, like, karate, the whole, uh, or, uh, Muay Thai, karate... All this other stuff. Being able to... It works. There's no rule saying you can't. It's just... Most people think you... Oh, you got the glove. Is in a fist. Well, that works. That's what I have to do. Is just punch. Like, don't get me wrong. It works. But it's like... There's more to... There's more to it than just punching. It's not just all about punching. Your form and how you do it. You could change it and... and that's why I'm able to literally just... It works. Even then, your opponent won't expect you to come in your, come in a fight with it like this and literally go. Like, it still works. Uh, although that one is a little more unconventional, and I don't even recommend doing it like that unless I'm being funny. But experiment, do what you wish with it, and I promise you'll get a lot better as a player. But as far as I'm concerned, that was Fight Night 12. Officially, Fight Night 12. I know Friday Fight Night is not always going to be a thing this every week, but as far as I'm concerned, it works for me. We're getting more people. We're going to start actually grouping more players into this, so. Which is just a matter of just getting everything together. But I will catch everybody later. Thanks for watching Fight Night 12. As always, your reigning champion. Not like it's going to change. From my point of view, this is going to be a lot of work. Each one of these members need a lot of work. I'm just so glad that it was a four-person fight night like it used to be. It definitely gives a different feel uh, than what it used to. But we'll definitely be here to work out some more and to do it. If you want to join, just let us know. All we ask is good sportsmanship, no criticism of somebody's style, flurry fighting, sworn fighting, any style is welcomed here. You got a problem with that, There, uh, there's the door. You got a problem, there's the fucking door, get out. There's the fucking door, get out. We don't have time for people to complain, or we ain't got time for none of that. We only got time to make winners. And by winners, I mean literally just anyone into anything. Just anyone willing to go and be a good, uh, just a player willing to just do something. But yeah, that is the end of Fight Night 12. Peace out, y'all.